I'm going to show you a spawn selector script created by UZ Store. It features a nice UI with customization options and you can easily change the position and images for the spawn locations. While players choose where to land, their character is also displayed and can be rotated which gives them a cool visual. Use the link in the description to check out all the features and watch the preview. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the store. Once you're there, you can choose between the escrow or open source version of the spawn selector script. If you're interested in the multi-character as well, bundle number one has both and there's currently a 50% discount in the store that ends very soon. If and once you purchase, go to your Keymaster and Granted Assets, then find the Spawn Selector and download it, then find the dependency UZ Core and download that as well. Once they're done, open them up and open your server resources and add them in. Then go to your server config and ensure them. Use the core needs to start first, and then the spawn selector. Next, use the link in the description for the documentation which has installation steps. And the first thing to do is remove the QB spawn dependency from the FX manifest and QB multi character. So go to your resources and into the QB folder. Find QB multi character, then open the FX manifest. And find where it says QB spawn and comment it out or remove it. The next thing to do is add the UI position for the apartments. The examples provided are set up for the default apartment location, so if you've created or removed some, be sure to add this line in the QB Apartments config, how it's shown in the examples, and adjust to your liking. So I'll copy all the examples and use them for now. Then go back to the QB folder and find QB Apartments. Open the config. And I'll highlight this whole section and paste what I copied. Next, go back to your resources and find UZ Spawn Selector, then open the customize.lua. The first thing here is the UI color. By default, it's the yellow shown in the commented out text. You can use these to choose a color or find one externally and paste it in. Next is the apartment icon pictured in an option for HUD display. Below that are the spawn locations. For each, you have the name, subtext, icon, physical location, and location on the spawn map. You can add or remove following the format the preset locations are in. I'll show how to add another location later in the video. The last thing in here are text options. The header spawn selector and its subtext show in the top left, and the spawn and last location button show next to the character. The next thing to look at is the dependency UZ core, so go back to your resources, find it, and open the customize.lua. In here, there are options for your framework, inventory, and so on. By default, it'll auto-detect what you're using for each, but you can also manually set it with the supported options in the commented out text. For example, I'm using QB inventory, so I'll copy it from the list here and paste it next to inventory. If you made changes, be sure to save them, then start your server and test it out. If this video was helpful, consider supporting my work by ordering a VPS or transferring your current one of one of one servers using the link below. Created by the team behind Project Sloth, one of one servers is a top VPS provider for popular 5M servers delivering unmatched uptime and performance. They offer the best DDoS protection, super fast 10 gigabit per second internet speed, and exceptional support via Discord and tickets, with 96% of tickets answered in under 30 minutes. With locations in Dallas, Ashburn, Chicago, and Europe, they ensure low latency and top tier reliability. I'm in the server now, so I'll create a character to show the initial spawn. You can click around and see the names of the apartments. I'll just choose this one. And after the initial spawn, once a player comes back, they'll see the spawn options you set up. So go back to the spawn selector folder and into the customize.lua. And you can use one of the placeholder locations or create a new section for your spot. So I'll copy the last one and paste it again below and start renaming the information. For the example, I'm going to create a spawn point at the pier. 
So for the name, I'll do Del Piero. And for the subtext, I'll just do Pier. All the default icons are used in the preset locations. To find the icons, go into the Spawn Selector folder, go into the Resources folder, and into the Icons folder. For this example, I'm just going to use the picture of the tree. So I'll do tree.png. The next thing to add is the chord, so go in game and find the spot you want. Just go over here. Once you're in the spot, copy the chords and paste them over. For the UI, starting with left, the bigger the number, the further to the right it is, and when the number is smaller, it's closer to the left. It's similar with the top option, the smaller the number, the closer it is to the top, and the larger the number, the closer it is to the bottom. So I'll do 20 left, and 50 top. After you've added your locations, restart and check them out. I'm in the spawn menu again, and my character is here. If you don't click a spot to spawn, the last location button will be highlighted. And once you click a spot, you're given the option to spawn. So I'll go ahead and spawn at the location I just created. And here I am. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. If you have suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.